Hi, I'm Sarah. This is my 1978 American Clipper. Welcome to my home. All right, Sarah, so you are full-time. You live here in your Clipper. I am. I'm full-time. I live here in my Clipper. I've been full-time since March, April, somewhere around in there. I, uh, I traveled in it a little bit and then traveled back to my house and cleaned it out. And, ooh, that was super tough. And where exactly did you start your, your journey from? Uh, Portland, originally, when I bought the Clipper. I've been all over the place, but... I was in Portland for a year, year and a half, two years, and bought the Clipper. I got the bug. Somehow Portland brings out some traveling vibes in people. I meet a lot of people that say they originated from at least that area, Pacific Northwest. It's beautiful. And when you're working all the time, you never get a chance to really explore, and hotels are really expensive. And what were you doing before you entered the van life or RV life? I was working for a company. And what company was that? I was working for Tesla uh -huh. and I worked for them for quite a, a long time. I applied for Tesla early on. They gave me a whole bunch of stock. So I'm currently living off a little, a little Tesla stock here and there. And I have nothing bad to say about Tesla. I think they are an amazing company, innovating, and I hope to see them change the world and rock the automotive industry. And they will continue to do so for probably a while. So, go Tesla. So, when I met you, you gave me a little brief history about this specific RV. Okay. And it was very impressive. So, you want to tell us a little bit about this specific RV that you live in? Okay. I found it on Craigslist. We'll just start from the beginning. I'll cliff note. Got it on Craigslist from a really sweet couple that clearly put some love and attention into it before I got my hands on it. So, it definitely gets me a lot of attention driving it around and... I, uh, when I got it, I was in Portland and I, it, like I said, it was super nerve wracking having to drive it down to, uh, I grew up in Sacramento on a little bit of a farm. We call it a farm. And so I decided I was going to go down there and work on it. All my tools and everything were down there. So I drove it down, had some issues with the starter. Luckily I called my brother and he kind of walked me through letting it cool down and just trying it again a little bit. That's exactly what happened. So I knew right then and there I needed to do a little bit of work to it. Found that all the parts were about 40 years old. So I just went to the parts store and said I need this, that, and the other and have been slowly upkeeping it along the way. Now give me your history with like your book and the actual manufacturer of this RV. What's it, what's it called? It. It's an American Clipper. Mm -hmm. It's a Dodge 440. Um, I have what I think is like the window sticker. I think it's equipment identification sticker. It shows all the, the specs. And I don't, like, I don't know if that matters to you. That's awesome. Let me see your, your paper there. And that comes from the, so I have, from the American Clipper Club, right? Yeah, there there is an American Clipper Club. I have yet to sign up for it. The, the website, I hate to say that it's stale. It doesn't look like it's been updated in quite some time. But I well, hear... Well, maybe you need to bring it back, So You know, I've met a couple American Clipper couples that are, are you know, weekend ears. And I've wanted to, like, tour their rigs and show off mine and... They were members of the American Clipper Club, and but my Clipper did come with a lot of uh, pretty neat stuff. The, the Clipper came with a few different floor models, and so I have the the one with the uh, with the bitch, and I call it my sectional and my my dining room with these bitch and captain's chairs, but. Uh, I'm definitely, I've been in the market for another American Clipper. Parts on these old Dodges are not easy to get on or get to.
Well, thank you very much for coming here, but it is time for you to go. In the meantime, it's been fun at RTR and Schoolie Palooza and hanging out with Rav. He's been a blast to hang out with. He lets me hermit for days. Checks on me just to make sure I'm still alive. But don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment below. Don't forget to hit that bell. Have a good one.